My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration of love, peace and joy. Requesting you to kindly subscribe, like and share our channel with your near and dear ones. Help us to spread the word of the Lord to the world. Dear friends, today we in a very special way pray for all the disturbed families. We pray that the peace of the Lord may abide and the Lord may bless these families with his understanding. Along with this intention, we also pray, dear friends, for your intentions. Let us now become aware of the presence of God and surrender ourselves totally into his loving care. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist by signing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray together. I confess to Lord Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall, may be kept by your constant helps from all harm, and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 1, verses 10, 16 to 20. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the command of your God, you people of Gomorrah. Wash, make yourselves clean. Take your wrongdoing out of my sight. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Search for justice, help the oppressed. Be just to the orphan, plead for the widow. Come, now 
let us talk this over says the lord though your sins are like scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they are red as crimson they shall be like wool if you are willing to obey you shall eat the good things of the earth but if you persist in rebellion the sword shall eat you instead the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response i shall show god's salvation to the upright i shall show god's salvation to the upright i find no fault with your sacrifices your offerings are always before me i do not ask more bullocks from your farms nor goats from among your heads herds response i shall show god's salvation to the upright but how can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips you who despise my law and throw my words to the wind response i shall show god's salvation to the upright you do this and should i keep silence do you think that i am like you a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me and i will show god's salvation to the upright response i shall show god's salvation to the upright gospel acclamation glory and praise to you o christ repent says the lord for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand glory and praise to you o christ the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord chapter 23 verses 1 to 12 addressing the people and his disciples jesus said the scribes and the pharisees occupy the chair of moses you must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say but do not be guided by what they do since they do not practice what they preach they tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders but will they lift a finger to move them not they everything they do is done to attract attention like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels like wanting to take the place of honor at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues being greeted obsequiously in the market squares and having people calling them rabbi you however must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi since you have only one master and you are all brothers you must call no one on earth your father since you have only one father and he is in heaven nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers for you have only one teacher the christ the greatest among you must be your servant anyone who exalts himself will be humbled and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters the readings of today speaks to each one of us that we are called to turn away from evil ways and repent and also to humble ourselves in our approach towards our brothers and sisters dear friends coming to the first reading prophet isaiah is reminding to each one of us that it is not enough 
to just turn away from evil ways but we are also must do and search for justice we are called to redress wrong hear the cry of the poor and defend the helpless it is not enough to empty ourselves from the evil ways but it is also very essential that we fill ourselves with god's things so that we become good human beings in the eyes of god our loving father which is the call during this season of lent the psalmist calls each one of us to do right actions that will enable us to build a genuine relationship with god our loving father and coming to the gospel passage of today jesus speaks of a servant attitude or servant leadership which is by humbling ourselves so that we allow ourselves to be lifted high by god so my dear brothers and sisters we are reminded by jesus today to listen to our leaders because they are appointed by god himself or they are, are occupying the seats of moses which jesus very clearly tells his disciples that listen to them but do not do what they are doing why precisely because they are only preaching and not practicing the pharisees and scribes were very good at preaching but were very bad at practicing in other words to describe their attitude was they were not walking their talk and that is why jesus reminds his disciples that you are not called to be like them you are called to first practice what you preach and then by your way of life you are called to give an exemplary to the people around you and jesus is our model during this season of lent and also out of the season of lent because jesus he by himself by his way of life he showed us how we are called to live and as precisely as we are getting ourselves mending ourselves so that we come on the right track we are called to have jesus as our role model so that we are on the right track towards the holy place where Jesus wants us to be and therefore Jesus wants his followers precisely all of us including us he wants us to have these three things in the mind as we uh, practice the three greatest things during this season of lent that is prayer fasting and alms giving so Jesus wants us precisely the first he wants us to walk the talk or practice what we preach secondly jesus wants us to avoid thinking that we are better than the others the second jesus wants us to develop an approach of a servant leadership with added humility and when we do these three things we will definitely be exalted so dear friends as we are in the season of lent or also call as the season of grace let us abide by our teachings of Jesus and allow Jesus to exalt us and for that we pray during this holy eucharist that we humble ourselves may god give us the grace amen lord excel This bread and wine, take a heart and make them thine. Take a walk and our anxiety, give us life and liberty. Teach this bread. to your 
body and this mind into your blood. Change our lives, make us united, Lord, to spread the love of Christ the Lord. Change our lives, make us united, to spread the love of Christ the Lord. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, Cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection, and so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by His divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. O oh Lord, be not mindful of our guilt and our sins. O oh Lord, do not judge us for our faults and offenses. May your mercy Let us pray. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they must ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish each one of you a blessed day. Oh, man, the most afflicted, standing beneath the tree, where Jesus hangs rejected.
Jesus, let us thy children be. Oh, for the sake of Jesus, let us thy children be. Let us the children be.